Welcome to the two. Five. Two. Kids. Theater. theater. We are so excited for today that it's got Mac and Zane singing. Okay, okay, I get it. Their singing may not be a beautiful noise. Hey, hey, I thought I was the next Justin Bieber. That sounded great. But it is a joyful noise. I I can admit my singing was terrible. Um, It's okay. But I only know because I've got integrity. Not everybody's as good as me. Remember, integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. When you have integrity, you drop the act. You're truthful with others and truthful with yourself. <laughs> Love that. I'm really excited about today's story because it's a great example of how not to have integrity. That- doesn't make sense. Yeah, it really doesn't. But we can learn a lot from the people in the Bible who made good choices, Mm -hmm. and we can also learn from people who made Mm -hmm. not so good choices. Mm -hmm. We can find out how to avoid making those same mistakes. So in our story today, the Israelites weren't doing a good job of following God. Not only that, they were at war with the nation of Aram. (gasps) Check out today's so-and-so show, and we'll see you right after the video. You'll be living straight up 
If you move too far to the side, then you're gonna get stuck It might feel like a little lie, but it's gonna catch up Do what you say you're gonna do, you'll be on your way up Said you're on your way up You can choose to be true Not just to everybody else, but true to you You can choose to be true Not just to everybody else, but true to you True to you Would you like to go to the movies later? Would I? Would I? Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to go to the movies later or not? Huh? <laughs> hey, who's this? Oh, oh, what does it look like? It's Pinocchio. Uh, hey, I'm trying to change my image, remember? Call me Jerry. Oh, sorry, I forgot. So, 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 Jerry, what's it like being a real boy? I'm still a puppet. That cricket didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> Did you try wishing upon a star? Yeah, and I ended up with you. Whoop de do. Whoop de do. Woo de do. <laughs> well, what do you think? I think. Uh, I think it's it's it's, uh, it's great. <laughs> it's really great. Thanks. I've been working with him for months. C could you see my mouth moving? Your mouth? Yeah. No, no. I, I mean, I had, had no idea that was you making the voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we make a pretty good team, don't we? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we've been thinking about going out on tour together. Now, be honest with me. Do you think, uh, you think audiences would like us? A tour? Mm-hmm. A comedy tour? Mm-hmm. Well, I, uh... I, ah, uh, you know, I think that would be a, a super idea. I think it would be a big hit. This may be the best idea you've ever had. Uh, Brandon, is, is your nose growing? Absolutely not. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and we are so glad you decided to join us today. And I am doubly glad. Oh, yeah? And why are you so glad, glad? Because of today's guest. Oh, that's right. That should be a lot of fun. It should be doubly fun. Please welcome all the way from Hollywood, someone who knows stuff. Oh, John. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Hey! Hey! How's it going? So good. Tell us who you are and what you know. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse Brandon. He's really excited that you're on the show today. Doubly excited. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. My name is Oakley, and I'm a special effects makeup artist for the movies! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, special effects makeups. Now, that's someone who does more than just covering up some pimples and bad skin and stuff, right? Right, right. They've got other makeup artists to do that. But if you want someone to make you look older or to give you like a nasty cut or a bruise or something, call me. Yeah, but your specialty is... Oh, my specialty is making people into monsters! monsters! Oh, so you make what? Monster masks? <sighs> I mean, sometimes. Mm. Uh, more often, though, it's makeup and latex and glue. It's important not to cover the actor's face entirely because you have to see their mouth move and their facial expressions. Oh, so that because that way uh, you want their performance to shine through the makeup, right? Exactly. I want to be a monster. I think uh, Brandon would like you to make him up today. I do, I do, I do, I do. Well, I can't do it myself, of course, because I'm on set. But did you get the package I sent? Yeah. Got it. You are going to turn yourself into one of the scariest, the smartest, most deadly creatures ever. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm going to talk you through it. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right, let's get started with the black eyeliner pencil. 
Uh, okay. All right, yeah, got it. Makeup time lapse. <laughs> Wow. Brandon, great effort. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, there you go. <sighs> <sighs> you look amazing. I look like an owl. An owl's not a monster. Okay, but owls are smart. They can be scary and deadly too. Just ask mice and bunny rabbits. I look like an owl. Well, thanks, Oakley, for showing us what you do. It really is. Incredible. You bet. Thanks for having me. Are you going to be all right? <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, I. Whoo! <laughs> I mean, what's going on? I'm an owl. Yeah, you are, and you look great. And I'd trust you, and I would come to you for advice. And you know it. Move on. Will do. How about a story from the book of 2 Kings starring the one and only so-and-so show players? Perfect. Perfect. This story is about a man named Gehazi who was a servant to Elisha, a prophet of God. Gehazi did something that wasn't very honest. Who? Me? <laughs> but we'll get to that in a minute. Oh. First, let's talk about Naaman. Naaman was an army commander. That's right. I'm Naaman. I'm the man in charge. When I say jump, people say how high. hoo he was a brave soldier who won many battles, but he had a skin disease. Ugh. Go away, spots. Go away. Ugh. You're still there. Ugh. A servant in Naaman's house spoke of a prophet in Samaria who could heal Naaman's disease. So after getting permission from his king, Naaman went to see Elisha. Whoa! Off-screen caravan of horses and chariots. Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow! Elisha? Oh, me? No. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Uh, he is inside, but he has sent me out here to give you a message. He says to go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River, and then your skin will be healed. Seriously? Uh, Yes, yes, he says to go and wash yourself seven times. Yeah. Got it, I got it, I got it, seven times, right. yeah. Mm. Well. Unbelievable. <laughs> Giddy up, man. <laughs> mm. So Naaman went down to the Jordan River and dipped himself in the water seven times. And when he came out, his skin was clean. So he returned to Elisha. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Elisha? Now I know your God is the one true God. <laughs> Please accept a gift from me. I have 750 pounds of silver. I have 150 pounds of gold. And I have 10 sets of fine clothing all upon my chariot that I would love to have someone come and deliver to you as, as I, as I, I serve the Lord. As sure as he is alive, I will not accept a gift. Uh, um, well, please, <laughs> you, you must accept a gift. I will not. 
Please? No. Oh. <gasps> Pretty please. Nope. But no matter how much Naaman begged, Elijah refused to take a gift. So Naaman started on his way. Gehazi wasn't too happy about the whole thing. My master has been a little too easy on Naaman. He should have at least accepted a gift. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go after Naaman and ask him to give me a gift or something as sure as the Lord is alive. <laughs> so Gehazi ran and caught up with Naaman. Wait up! Whoa! Wait up. <laughs> uh. Is everything all right? Oh, it's... <sighs> oh. Ah, totally. Yes. Ah. <clears throat> now, <laughs> if do, do, do you do you remember how my master said that he he didn't need any kind of gifts or, or anything? I do. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, uh, turns out he's changed his mind. Yes, yes. We've had a, a visitor drop by who's a little short on. Gold and silver and stuff. Oh, of course. So, yeah, how much do you want? How much? How much? <laughs> I didn't even think about how about 75 pounds of silver and two sets of clothing? Well, I insist you take twice as much silver. <laughs> you do know best, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Yes, well, that's quite a lot. Thank you mm. very much for your kindness. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Be on your way. Oh, yes, I will be on my way. When Gehazi got back to Elisha's house, he put the gifts away, someplace safe. But before he could truly celebrate what he'd done, he ran into Elisha. <laughs> Silver is so heavy. <laughs> oh, look at it all. So, <clears throat> Elijah, where have you been? Me, little old moi. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Gehazi, I know you went back to Naaman. My spirit was with you the whole time. Why couldn't you just be honest? Oh, I have always been honest. Now, you're going to have the same skin disease as Naaman. No. 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 The end. Well, let's hear it for the so and so show players. What'd you think, fellas? Cool story, right? I mean, absolutely. Very funny. I, you know, it's hard to trust people once they've told a lie like that. I know I'd have a hard time trusting Kazi. Yeah, he was just foul. All right, all right. See you next time, Kellen. I guess all good things have to come to an end. Bye. Owl good things. No more owl jokes, okay? I'll try. Hmm. I can't even think of what comes next in the show. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to wing it. <laughs> okay, now I'll try. I'll try. Reveal I'll try. the question. Why is it important for people to trust you? That's a good question. What do you think, John? Well, because no one likes to hang out with people who don't tell the truth. Stop it. <laughs> I said who? All right. I know I'm telling you the truth. Oh, boy. We'll see you guys next week. Hey, Brandon, how many licks does it take to get to the center of this lollipop? <laughs> oh, let me see. One. Two. Two. Is it good? Hmm? No, no. <laughs> Before the day I took a breath, you had a plan for my every step. You promised to always be by my side. I believe that you are the way. You are the truth.
In the end, Gehazi's lie had won him some new clothes, but it cost him Elisha's trust. Not only that, he would have to suffer with that terrible skin disease for the rest of his life. Hey, I have eczema. It's okay. God still loves you. Okay. Gehazi's story is an example that we shouldn't follow because... When you're not truthful, you lose trust. The truth is, we need to make the wise choice. We the need truth. to live with integrity. After all, when we're dishonest, we can end up losing the trust of the people we care about the most. Well, let's pray and ask God to help us live truthfully. God, sometimes we feel like Gehanzi. We're tempted to lie just to get what we want. But we know that it's always the wise choice for us to be truthful. Please help us choose to live with integrity. Help us to be truthful in what we say and do. We want to keep good, strong relationships with the people around us so they know they can trust us. We love you, and these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Max. So what is the one thing we need to remember today? Be truthful. Be truthful. Be truthful, because when we're not, you lose trust. Parents, don't forget to check out our website, thejourney.church. You can find resources there that will help you disciple your child at home. You can also follow us on our Facebook page. We put posts out there throughout the week that will also help you talk to your child and continue the conversation at home. So until next week. Bye. Farewell. 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 Farewell.